And welcome back. We find ourselves floating gently in the astral plane. Life is peaceful. Everybody coexists. Harmony abounds. And then you wake up and realize that there ain't no harmony. And there's people like me who are out to destroy all life. Chaos is trying to destroy, well, the astral itself. Dogor just likes to fight things. This dude likes to raise undead armies. Even Oinor is a little punts, and he's meant to be good. I think maybe the only person who might fit that little dreamy description of mine is Vianta. Anyway, this is Clavicus's evil playthrough of Eador Genesis New Horizons December 2022 version. And we're about to invade what I call Shard 16. But it's really Shard 15 because one was a, def a defense of our home world against the uh, Dogor, who I actually don't mind too much because he doesn't really mind me. Okay, so we've got four shards that we can choose between. We've got Goron, which is an average shard, only gives four energy in income, and to be honest, doesn't really give me a lot of stuff that I give a fuck about. I don't care about a fairy. I don't, uh, I don't generally care about a berry farm because I want swamps for uh, gem income. But of course, if I don't play a mage, um, um, herbless uh, berry farms could be good. So, so herbless guilds could be good. Gives me a neutral um, rank two, but I, I don't really care about neutrals. I'm playing evil. I'm playing evil. However, I was thinking maybe I might try a neutral, like, like I might try with neutral units um, this time. I don't know, it depends. The reason I'm thinking I might try, I'm, cha I'm, ch I'm changing tact a little bit here. So I've got another small shard, so I just did a small shard. If this is a small shard against another only skilled opponent, I will use neutral um, uh, da, 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 units which I believe are pretty much the worst units but I've never really never really used them so much that, that's like the spearmen and the militiamen's are shit um, the um, slingermen you know maybe they might be alright if you can level them up heaps right but um and you're probably chucking a healer there for sure. Um, but anyway, so we, we were looking at Goron. Um, sure. Uh, the Journeyman Tanner. Um, to be honest, I don't know really what some of these are. Just... Um, the Ranger's Cap could help with province exploration, potentially... Quilted jacket, riveted gloves, um, leather braces would just be like a little bit of hit points. Um, not overly, not overly fast. And the, the journeyman carpenter. Now, getting the the heavy crossbow and the heavy longbow, uh, the heavy arrows um, would be really good. Also, the partisan is good as well because um, that is a first strike weapon. So. The journeyman carpenter is really the one that I care about the most out of this. But with four astral income and an average size shard that goes against Clavicus's rule of doing the smaller shards first, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to invade Goron. Let's have another. Let's have a look at Verdor. So Verdor is a swamp shard. So we're thinking potentially mage start. It's got plenty of energy income um, it's got some good reserves but again like reserves don't matter too much it's really 
you want income more than you want reserves. A fire wand in, in the treasury could help substantially, but I'm sure it'll probably be fairly expensive. Um, Master Enchanter. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's going to help get, like, um, some stuff. Uh, Master Taylor. Now, that I'm a bit more excited about because it um, can be used by more than one hero. And your Master Mailmaker, I don't really care too much about. Um, again, because that's more tailored towards um, the commanders, who I don't generally use um, as frontline. But that maybe that's because I don't have Master Mailmakers. Maybe if I had Master Mailmakers, I would use them um, as frontline. But 20 energy income, whew, that's pretty good uh, for this stage. So, Lacorn Le here, a gold income of 11, so that's really good. 18 energy income, that's really good. A Kobold in the garrison. That's actually not too bad. Because kobolds hit like a truck. They're, they're, they're not the kobold slaves. Um, I wouldn't mind a kobold in the garrison. War school, allowing me to get men of war guards. Um, and increasing recruits experience by 40. That's a, that would be the strongest guards yet, I believe. Um, a master plate maker. That, that's excellent because I like to um, just run my uh, warriors as one man armies. Master Weaponsmith, again, you know, that they, they combine fairly well. Um, and the Swamp Trappers Guild allow me to get um, spiders and slugs and stuff. So this, this is a very high value shard. I like absolutely everything on this shard. And then we've got but it's also large so maybe you know that is according to Clavicus's rule the last shard I should be in invading and then we've got Liren three percent of gold already available so I'm assuming that that adds 3% onto your gold once you've subtracted your costs. That's what I'm assuming that does. I've never built, never ever built a finance house there, so. Um, Craftsman Guild. Um, they're, they're, they're actually really good um, by reducing the cost of the construction in the castle by 10% and I always forget to build them and then I always like regret it I'm like damn it I really should have uh, built that getting some jagged arrows in the um, armory super good for if I want to start start off with a scout chamber of commerce um, increasing income by 20 reducing the cost of uh, buying resources by 10 Allows upgrading a tavern in provinces to inn, in, increases gold income from trade caravans. I mean, that sounds pretty good as well. It's also quite late game, um, which I probably won't get to on a small shard, but I probably won't find this one anyway. But with 13 energy, a small shard, and some jagged arrows, I'm gonna attack Liren, if only to follow Clavicus's rule. So, let's attack. And just to remind you, I've had very bad experiences where I've left small shards to later. And then when you're in really close proximity with a lord who is of higher skill than you, so the AI is getting bonuses or, or whatever, they can just like run over you really quickly and they, they, they can come up to you before you've had a chance to do anything and just crush you. So getting the small shards done um, sooner rather than later I think 
um, reduces that chances the chance of that happening. I'm not I'm not entirely sure to be honest. Anyway, we're making 129 gold, so we will we'll attack Liren. Um, it's it's a forest shard, so potentially could start scout um, and go uh, da -da -da, like terrain knowledge. So if I'm if I'm gonna go scout. Uh, you know, I don't really care about too much of this stuff. The, the beast would be good, but what I do really care about is the gold income. So it's 100, goes to 104. But then I only got like what I can't actually like remember what it was. 129. Uh, why do I keep clicking on that? So I go gold income. Um, and then it's like, ah, look, you know. If I wanted to do something like that, I could do something like this. Is it really going to help? I don't know. How much more gold can we get to, like, and still sort of... You know, 25 gold, is that really going to make much of a difference? Not not really, to be honest. Um, so I'm thinking I'll just go gold income. And we will attack. Now let's have a look. Okay, so I'm up against two. Okay, so this is why we want to do smaller shards sooner rather than later, potentially, because we're up against two experts, which are the same um, skill as I am. It's going to be a very cramped shard. Um, but at least they're, they're the same skill level, but uh, this is not going to be an easy shard. Just just by looking at that, I'm actually kind of a little bit shitting myself. So, I... What I don't know is that if I leave this for... If I left this shard for like a few turns, because this shard is, is one that's only, only just appeared. If I left it for a few turns, would it still only have two experts or would those experts have then turned into um I don't know demigods or like wh whatever it is above expert I can't even like remember the um the difficulty levels I don't know um it might come back and bite me in the bottom um following Clavicus's rule but it's it seems that when I have followed it it seems to make my playthroughs easier. Um, so that's why we're doing it. So I'm, I'm going to take this shard seriously. Um, because I am shitting myself a little bit. I did not expect two experts on a small shard. But um, maybe that's just the way it goes, hey? So we've got... Rebels, Orcs, Snolls, Adventurers, Undead. We've got a bunch of stuff. Um, we've got Brigands, Barbs, Orcs, Brigands, Brigands. Okay, so at least um, expansion shouldn't be too difficult. I could always make friends with the Orcs if I wanted to. Um, and that might be just what I do. Now I started off with a mage last time. This is meant to be a forest shard, so I kind of want to start off with a, um, a scout. The only thing that makes me question whether I should start off with a scout is that I'm scared of the shard and I don't think a scout start is necessarily the strongest. That said, it's what I'm going to do anyway. Um, because that's how I roll. Um, haven't, started, haven't started with a scout. You know, I've done two commanders, a warrior and a wizard start since last time I started off with a scout. So... 
Now or never, baby. So we will hire um, Lintra, the scout. So he's got pathfinding. So this was the, the train knowledge that I was talking about. So he's already got forest knowledge. And let's see what his um, special ability is. Hunter of Demons. So this unit can inf inflict additional damage to demons. The higher the level, the higher the extra damage. Okay, cool. So I've got a hunter of demons um, scout. I also have a piece of shit army, but the wolf with only one um, upkeep is better than both of these two. So I'm going to use the wolf uh, to man the garrison, and I'm going to delete the stock that I do not want. Now. There's nothing only that I can really go to here, so I am going to... Yes, I can't I can't go to the Orcs now. I'd like, I, I'm going to plunder the province. I was thinking, oh, should I go to the Orcs first and get the quest to plunder the province? Unfortunately, the Orcs will keep my ass because I don't have a stronger army than them. So, I will just plunder the province. And we shall build. Yeah, so I was tossing up between, you know, going neutral units. Which, you know, potentially c could work. I'm just really, really worried. about really really worried about their um yeah worried about having two um expert uh lords on the shard with me so i, I could go um even go with good units as, as well which I find works pretty well with a scout like I, I, I really like pikemen um, with the scout because of their first strike um, yeah I think I'm gonna probably do that so in order to do that first thing I'm gonna do is build a library this is so that I don't forget um, to get spells and we'll get fatigues and we'll plunder and we'll end turn and we'll continue plundering all right so this is it we're getting fuck all from that plunder how, how much so we've only explored 65% Interesting, interesting, interesting. Maybe as the level goes up, or as like we go later into the game, um, things are explored less. Also, I know that these are both have been swamps that have been explored less than 65% as well. So maybe that's got something to do with it. Maybe planes are 75 and. Yeah, I, I definitely think it's something that's been Im implemented this patch, but I wouldn't swear my life on it. Alright, so we're going to go forge. And I really didn't get that much money from plundering, and I'm pissing off my people, so I'm going to explore and just hope that I don't get attacked by anything. Let's end turn. Uh, we've got some ancient ruins with some spiders that would absolutely kick my ass. Alright, so we will go um, pikemen. And we will hire some pikemen who are already not happy with me. Another reason why I was thinking about going kind of like lawful units is because he's he's like a demon slayer 
you know, eh. Um, Alright, so we've got Brigand Outlaws 3 2 here. Brigand Outlaws 1 1. Fuck, so these are like super low. Um, let's just attack the rebels. And we'll end turn. Mercer Slinger Brigand. Alright, bring it on. Bring it on. So he's got um forest knowledge. That really doesn't do much damage, does it? We're gonna level one. We'll, we'll fatigue this person out. Yeah, go my first strikes. Oh, that's right. I should. I should. Um, I can heal up by like um just. Uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, turtling up. But I do need to wipe out these pesky um, dudes if I'm planning on doing that. Turtle, 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 turtle. Alright. So this guy can keep on um, gathering ammo and keep on uh, stunning shotting me, so I really do need to kill this dude. Unfortunately, but I'll, I'll stun him. Um. I think we gotta just start advancing towards him. And that is the rebels uh, defeated, and a tunic hit points plus four. Not not too bad, you know. All right, so what am I gonna go? What am I gonna go? Diplomacy is. I guess I guess I'll go to like. Diplomacy can be super good. It can help you make um make friends of people, like like alliances of people that you could, that you wouldn't normally be able to ally with. Like you need certain diplomacy levels. It can allow you to take um, certain provinces like without fighting. Um, and decreases prices, of course, and then also you know increasing those rewards um, for doing quests and, and as this is my first dude like I don't think that can really be under underestimated um, but also archery will make him a better archer <laughs> um, I will go diplomacy Alright, we'll take another fatigue. We'll build a tavern. I 
um, we could we could potentially do the horde of shamans because it would just be like a bunch of orcs. I mean, a bunch a bunch of wolves. So let's go see what these um horde of shamans are like. I think I want to stay here. I want to try and just farm this province until I can enter the crystal. Yeah, it should just be one ghost whisperer and four orcs. only a level three ghost this for like my dudes can just heal up so I'm not not really too worried Killing that guy because he's, you know, like the biggest damage threat, um, obviously. But yeah, I guess I should probably. Stop necrophaging, mate. Stop necrophaging. Oh, I'll like let him do it again. Because I think, like, the more that he kind of damages my dudes, like, um, the more chance that they're going to have of, like, getting cool medals. So that's my kind of thoughts on that. But we'll end that. And all my pikemen go up. So their morale was kind of shot, right? Because they just don't like me. I mean, it looks like it's 10 now. But is that, that's probably because I've been killing things. And then, it, does it go, will it go back down to a base morale of like 7 or something? Which So, I'm going to... Um, I'm actually going to go morale. And I'll go morale. And I'll go morale. And we'll go attack. Yeah, see, because these people, they don't have 10 morale. They've got, now now they've got 9. But yeah, morale was a big problem for them. Alright, so. Let's have a look. We'll build the altar. And we'll repair all my items and we'll have a look at what else we can we can potentially do. Now Yeah, I think I th I think pikemen are bad against our crew because they're generally um Agile, so they, they won't get their first strike off, and then like the actual hit power sucks. So I don't want to fight the Alcaril. Um, adventures I don't really want to do without a web. Another one of Clavicus's rules. So it's really just the orcs um, or the undead. So let's go to. Let's go to some orcs. And we'll end turn. Okay, bugbear, orc, ghost whisper, but there's four of them. So that'll, that'll probably be two orcs. One bugbear and one ghost whisper. I think that's going to be a little bit too difficult for me. 
um, to be honest. So I'm going to retreat from that. But we now have our crystal of power. And we're going to step into the crystal and get our first quest. I have to kill some brigands. Alright, excellent. So I'm very glad that I've done that because I've got three uh, brigand outlaws to go fight. And let's go fight them. So I'm killing this dude because he's like the one that can really um, damage um, my, like me. I guess I then want to kill the thief because I don't get a counter attack off from a thief. How much more does he have? Yeah, so he's got no more ammo left, but he can still attack. That's right, I'm not too worried. We'll just wait until I've healed up, which is looking like now. I want to get some experience. Um, towards my dude as well. So let's just take all of it. <laughs> um, alrighty, so I'll take marksmanship. So yeah, wow, that was like killing all of those. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, I guess I, I I killed a few other things in between my last my last level, but that seemed like a super quick level. Um, so I will take um marksmanship, even though that diplomacy is looking pretty good. We'll take defense. Alright, so there's some rebels, there's a gang of robbers, um, let's see what this gang of robbers has got for me, and we will build, I guess I should work out what I want to build. If I'm going, you know, if I'm going predominantly um, pikeman, I don't necessarily need a healer, um, but they do really fucking help. And to so, Pikeman Officer Academy. So, I just need to go Pikeman. Um, the Lookout Tower, I think I need to go Swordsman and Crossbowman. I could go Pikeman, Crossbowman, Totem and barbarians or something something like that that would give me tribe guards as um as well as crossbowmen which you know it's it's wouldn't be too bad What does what what the shooting ground do? Allows hiring the hunter's guard, reduces feed garrison units by 10%. Yeah, so I don't, I don't really care too much about that. It's just whether I, whether I build this stupid brotherhood of light. You know, I could just go pikeman. I, I guess with um, the, 
the uh, morale problems that my pikemen have already got. I don't really want to mix them with evil people though, actually. And I think, you know, maybe, because they're good, the pikemen are loyal. So I think mixing those two types together, um, the 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 the, uh, the Parkman lawful. I think mixing those two types together will give a will try to will help cancel out um, the negative morale that I'm getting. So I guess I should go more yeah down the down the the the, the Brotherhood of Light. Route. That's what I'm thinking. Also, want to get a workshop. Now. What have I got here? So I've taken over a um, a forest. So workshops built into the Carpenters Guild, um, which will allow me to get sawmill, and that will also be going towards the Carpenters Shop. Uh, that will allow me to get the um, light crossbow and jagged arrows and stuff. So that's not a bad sort of um, route to go down either. Also, I could go sanctuary, but I don't think I need it at this point in time. That that would just help me kill evil things like demons, but I'm going to do more damage to demons anyway. How much damage do I do now? Still only two. Um, <laughs> ooh, gold for quests. Increased by 10%. Lovely. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking... Let's just go a workshop. And we'll check out these bandit hideout. Brigand and gang leaders, let's attack. Alright, so we'll turtle up again. I think my fatigue is going to be doing more. Um, ooh, ooh. Okay, maybe I should have taken a um, a healing. Because <laughs> I'm going to definitely lose a pikeman. Well, not definitely because sometimes they can be a bit stupid. Let's fatigue him out. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe my pipeman will live. No. Okay. Okay, so I lost a level 2 pikeman in that. Um, gee, it would have been good to have a cure wounds or something, eh? Um, lesson learnt. Um, but I'll get some stamina. And I will get... Ooh, let's get attack. Knife and swiftness. Alright, so we'll come back here and we'll hire... 
um, some more pikemen. Well, what's my uh, my economy is pretty shit. So, hiring an apartment will be probably 65 by the time I get there, which is alright. Um, or if I'd had a metamorphosis school <laughs> and could have cast some webs, um, that would have been super useful as well. Um, Seven out of ten brigands. Uh, yeah, look, we'll just come back here. We'll get a pikeman. And we'll get, we'll get um, some more brigands. Um, we'll build a sanctuary. some spells um, that are probably going to be of more use than um, fatigue. We won't get the bandit because he's evil. Um, even though I really want to get the bandit because he's evil and he's much better than, you know, just like a single pikeman. Um, the saber will actually keep, it's not too bad, and swiftness will drop down there. Um, we might have a, a need for it. Now, the rope sling is actually better than this, I think. 554, five, 546, five, stunning shot. Five, so six. So I mean, this will do one more damage. Range of five, range of four. This will have way more ammo, but that stunning shot and, and the ability to collect ammo is pretty good. And then I don't have to keep on spending money um, on my ammo. The range is kind of shit though, but I do have spells now. Um, I'll get the rope sling. And I'll just sell this crap. And then maybe I should... Is this two-handed? Yes, yeah, it is two-handed. I was thinking maybe I shouldn't have, shouldn't have sold, uh, sold my knife. Um, but no, this is two-handed. Um, how much? I've got plenty. I've got plenty of... um gems I guess so let's let's do something like that and we will attack uh I'm going to attack this one here because it's got a forest. Um, I mean, this gem income is probably more important. But I am building towards the Carpenter's Guild. 
Yes, yeah, so let's do that. We shall attack. Okay, so I'm moving away from this dude because I'm scared that he's going to kill my dude um, if I don't. And they're both evil. Ooh, damage! And I'm going to move one out so that this guy can't shoot my dude unless he comes around here, which he's probably not going to do. Exactly eight, so we'll heal for exactly eight. Everything is healed up. Um, I want to try and level up my level up my hero some more, and I did. And I will choose. Now I always say that gems is more important because it's just so much rarer. But if I want to accelerate um, this guy, I should probably go gold. So I'm going to choose gold. This crystal is such a cheap skate. And we'll take marksmanship. Oh, went up two levels. Holy f fuck. I have. That is amazing. Um, and we'll take looting. And we'll take. Um, Take range defense. It's always a difficult like counter attack is like pretty much their primary stat, right? Like like counter attack's probably better than defense because they'll they'll get hit off first, but I think you know can like range defense still like fair. We'll go the double morale. Alright, cool. So I will Build the Carpenter's Guild and build a sawmill. And this should be, uh, you know, starting to accelerate this guy. This is this is my plan. Um, if I'm gonna play um, this dude, I want him to be to accelerate as much as possible. Um, we want um, another quest. And we've got some more brigands, which is which is perfect. So I'm getting very, very lucky. Um, now this time, should I get more? This time I'm feeling more confident. If I if it's another like four um, gang of robbers, I'm feeling a lot more confident. I've got heels and I've got the um uh the other thingy bottoms. What are the other thingy bottoms? Um the shocks, yes. Alright, and so what's what's bordering me? Holy lands, halflings and elves. Alright, so the halflings I should be able to take fairly simply. 
at some point. Need to be wary about barbarians invading me. Um, the elven forest will be a bit more difficult, um, but shouldn't be too difficult once I've leveled up a bit and the holy land um, could be extremely problematic. As holy lands are when you're playing evil. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. I don't. Let's end turn. Yeah, we've got the four again. So we'll turtle up again. I'm turtling up like this. Um, because I don't want someone in a swamp, basically. There we go. So that's done a crap load of damage to him. This guy's my level three. Let's level him up. And just take all of the experience for myself. So I've got a long sword, uh, which is pretty good. Um, Go, we'll go. We've got range defense, We've got attack, um, and I've got Bane of the Wicked, um, which would be good when I get my duelist. I think is going to be my um, first level two um, dude. I'm going to get the carpenter shop. And how much does this stuff costing at this point in time? I really want that redwood, but unfortunately I don't think I'm going to, going to be able to get it. Um, anyway, we'll come back down here. Yeah, but let's just make sure that it's not a fool's errand. Yeah, no, that should be alright. Unless maybe there's some more um, brigands here. No, there's no more brigands so at this point in time. Um, it's good to head back on down. You know, I could... Nah, let's just head back on down. So we'll take Jagged Arrows, we'll keep the Rope Sling um, in case I run out of ammo or something, I guess, maybe. I really want that Light Crossbow though, which is 109, um, but I, now that I've got the Longsword, I don't need the Sabre. And that gives me the Light Crossbow, and we'll keep the Longsword and Bane of the Wicked. Um, that would even be a good cast on myself. So I think we're going to learn that. Learn Bane of the Wicked. And we'll come along and we'll take on these um, other brigandses. Ooh. But I don't have... I could hire some troops. I, mean, I don't need to at this stage I guess. So this is looking pretty... Uh, 
Fast and easy. Five, one, two, three, four, five. So you can't shoot this dude yet. Um, and I'm now doing 11 damage, which could kill the renegade outright. Um, let's just do that. Yeah, look at how much damage I'm doing now. Now that I've upgraded my weapons. Um, make sure that they don't have forest knowledge so they can't sneak in here. And I'll get rid of that guy. gang of robbers so let's attack that and that should be um, that should be the brigands done build a granary oh. okay gang of robbers and in turn And again, similar sort of dudes. Um, yeah, guess I'm happy with happy with how they're placed. Um, I could go something like here. Just get this guy a bit closer. Um, well, Bane of the Wicked myself, I want to see how much damage I can do when I then shoot. Mainly that guy. Yeah, doing quite a bit of damage. I assume he's just going to go back and forth and not going to walk around the whole way. Alright. Now, what am I going to do now? Again, I think I'm going to go gold. I think this is just the way... Um, I wonder where that came from. This crystal's such a cheap skate. And excellent marksmanship three. Uh, we'll go counter attack. And we've got Ray Zombie. All right. We'll, oh, I can't even magic crystal. I did that quest so quickly that I can't even magic crystal. So for this, um, to get the. So, so what? So patrol, patrolman can lead to a warrior's guild that just requires the arm. Warrior's guild requires the armory. So I could go armory warrior's guild. I haven't taken over any planes yet, so going farmer's market might not be 
the highest priority. But I could probably take over these planes now, you know? Like, I'm feeling pretty strong, to be honest. I'm actually... And like, and like, look, I can get like way more spells and stuff as well. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna head back here. I'm gonna go armory. I've got, I've got very lucky with, uh, with quests at least. So. Now, I guess I want to get... Do I want to get another pikeman? Probably not. I probably want to get... Brotherhood of Light. And I'm feeling pretty strong, so I don't think... I don't think there's any... Requirement, necessarily, to get the Brotherhood of Light straight away. How much do these guys cost? 110. I do want to get some, um, you know, like some patrolmen or something in place, um, so I can start making, and I should also be building towards my level 2 uh, unit as well, um, which would require the show booth. Well, oh, there's so many things to like balance up now, you know, it's like I've got the Go show booth, gaming house, in stable, or a pub stable in, or something like that, and then I can get the um my my first level two unit if I if I go for duelist first, which is generally easier than going f fort. Um. I don't really need a healer, like, to be honest. Um, anyway, we'll get rid of this um, stupid wooden shield. Now, raise a zombie. I might, um... Could learn that spell. It can come and super useful. And I'll also go shock. Um, and I'm thinking I can definitely start taking on some. Uh, depends what I'm going to build. I'm going to go. Farmer's Market, because that's going to allow me to start building mills, and it's probably just, it's just going to accelerate things. Because um, I think I'm going to be able to able to take over, um, you know, these these kind of places now. Where's my um, weakest dude? You are the weakest link. That's a terrible like game, sh uh, Australian game show. Very very old. One two three four five. Yeah. So um, I don't really mind him cursing me. Bane of the Wicked. Okay.
of a 12. So I shouldn't, he shouldn't die if I, but I'm also doing like, I could probably kill him with one hit, but then this dude will be quite hurt. But he's probably gonna end up quite hurt anyway. Let's just be absolutely certain that this guy survives. There we go. And now we can just do our cheap um, healing up. And he's not sacrificing himself. So the last unit is not sacrificing himself. Which is good to see. I will take our force march and we'll build the mill. Oh, did I get a quest? No, I didn't get a quest. Oh, I can do it now. Eliminate zombies. Alright. Sounds good to me. Oh, there's been plenty of undead. Um, around that I've seen. I've only got five ammo left though, which something I need to keep in mind. Now, am I going to go Barbarian Camp Totem? I think that's what I want to do. sense. Um, so sawmill mills like the only stuff I can do. Yeah, alright. Alright, let's go kill uh, some undead. And turn. Skeleton bones, spearman, zombie. Well, for those who are about to die, we salute you. Oof, 21 damage and that's even in the forest. Bane of the wicked is wicked. Yeah, I want all the experience. I'll give you that. Alright, so I will go. Um, diplomacy 2. And I've got Summer Nature. Awesome, awesome. So this is going to allow a, um, a second level um, beast to join me. Which is exactly what I need. Seeing as I haven't started going towards um, the jewelers at all. So we've killed two zombies. We will summon nature. <laughs> summon nature. And I got a giant slug. Not bad, not bad. Um, anyways, I think that this is where I should probably finish this episode. 
Um, this has been Shard 16, actually 15, episode 1 of Clavicus's, uh evil playthrough of Eardor Genesis um, New Horizons, which is a community mod. This is the December 2022 edition, and despite me having lawful units, this is my evil playthrough, and I will destroy your life. And I'm just, you know, these people are really low morale because I'm making them do my evil bidding. So just think of it that way. It's even more evil to have lawful units in my army than evil ones. <laughs> um, yeah, let's say that, eh? I will leave it here. I was gonna, I was gonna build like a, um, build something, but I can't decide what it is yet. So I will build it next um, turn. Thank you very much for joining me. Stress less, and I'll see you later.